OK, so now let's look talk about aggregation functions. So remember that in Tableau, all the measures by default are aggregated. And also all the dimensions will determine the granularity of those aggregations. OK, so that's difference between measures and also dimensions. Aggregation functions allow us to summarize or change the granularity of our data. OK, uh, so here are some rules for aggregation functions. So the aggregation functions like the mean, OK, uh, minimal, average. OK, so those are the most common aggregation functions, just like we learned from SQL, OK, those aggregation functions. So in SQL, you cannot combine aggregation functions with disaggregated values. OK, so you cannot do that. And also, the constant can be used either as aggregated or disaggregated as appropriate. So for example, we can use the AVG price times 10. That is allowed. And if you're using price only, OK, price field times 10, that is also allowed. However, you cannot use AVG price plus price. OK, so this is not allowed because this is aggregated. This is disaggregated. So we this is not allowed. OK, next, um, all the functions can be evaluated to aggregated values. However, the arguments must be either all aggregated or disaggregated. OK, so what does that mean? So here we are calling the, using this maximal aggregation function. We we'll compare which one is bigger. So either this one or this one, the sum of the sales or the profit. In this case, this is not a valid calculation because sum of the sales is aggregated. Profit is disaggregated. So we cannot use both together. So instead, we can use maximal aggregation function. Sum of the sales is aggregated. Sum of the profit is aggregated. So those two arguments are aggregated. So that is valid. OK, so that's what this rule means. And when you see AGGs, so that just means that AGG indicate an aggregated functions and cannot be aggregated further. And ATTR is also another aggregation functions. ATR return the value of an expression if that value has a single value for all the rows. Otherwise, it will return a star. OK, so let's see some examples here. So first, let's go back to the um, um, our diamond data. So we can see this is the AGG, which is the aggregated field. That is because we use the sum of the price divided by the sum of the weight. weight. So that is an aggregated um, a function. OK, and so let's say we also want to calculate a new field. Let's call it ATT price. OK, remember ATTR is an aggregation function. So that will return a price for the, for the current rules if the price is unique. So if there's only one value. So for example, let's say for the raters. And if we return ATTR, we will have star because for the raters, we have multiple different prices. So that's why we have a star here. However, if we bring the ID into this field, and we know for each single ID, the price is unique. So now we see that uh, all the values at this level, so granularity of the ID level. OK, so that's ATTR versus AGG. So both are aggregation functions. OK, so let's also define another aggregated functions. So let's call it median and average price. So we want to say that if the reader is IGI, we want to retain the average of the price. OK, else we want, we want to retain the median of the price. OK, and so now we have errors. OK, so can you find out what is the error? So the, the error is because we are mixed 
the aggregation functions with the disaggregated functions, the values. Okay, because it reiter is disaggregated, average price, median price are aggregated, so we cannot mix them together. So therefore, this is where we can use ATTR. Okay, so we know that for reiters there are three values. So if the unique value equals IGI, we will calculate average price for IGI. Otherwise, we will return the median price for IGI. Okay, and let's see how that looks like. So let's bring these aggregated functions out and let's bring median and also average back. Okay, and remember I also removed the filter that earlier here. So that's why I can see IGI. Okay, so here we can see for IGI, the, we are showing the median price, we are showing the average price, which equals average price. For HRD, okay, on this chart we are showing the average price and on this chart we are showing the median price and for GIA on the on the left one we are showing the average price and on the right one we are showing the median price okay so that is how we can use aggregated functions okay the next important idea is the level of the details okay so level of the details uh, determine that to what degrees the granu granularities. So in addition by using dimensions and aggregation functions, we can also use LOD expressions to control the level of the granularities. So that gave us more flexibilities. So the syntax is pretty simple. So we, we have this curly bracket and we have three uh, keywords. So we can choose fixed, include or exclude okay and next we choose a dimension okay we want to declare colon and next followed by aggregation expression or the aggregation functions okay so for those three types of those um, keywords so fix we are calculate values using the specific dimensions here without reference to the view Okay, so the granularity will not change based on the view. Include, we are using the specific dimensions in addition to the dimension in the view. Okay, in addition to the dimension to the view. Exclude, we will do the opposite. It will remove the dimensions from expressions in the view. Okay, so include and also exclude, I will do the opposite and calculations. If no dimension are declared, the LOD is table scope. Okay, so if you don't type any dimension here, okay, it will be by default the table scope. The aggregation expressions, so that is here, cannot use ATTR or table calculation. Okay, so we cannot use ATTR or table calculations in this aggregation expressions. This sounds like a little bit um, confusing, so let's see some examples here. Okay, so in Tableau, let's first let's create a visualization that shows um, the average price per reader. Okay, and let's create a new sheet. Let's say we want to show the average price per clarity. Okay, so let's also use uh, the average price per clarity. So this one we are using the average price per reader. Okay, average price per reader and average price per clarity. So now let's create some level of the expressions. So here let's say we want to calculate the calculated field. So for the first one, let's say we want to use fixed. Okay. So curly bracket, we see fixed. The dimension, let's use a reader. Okay. And colon, so the aggregation, let's use average. And we use price. Okay, so this is a fixed price. Okay, and uh, let's copy that one. And let's paste. So this time, 
uh, let's use include. Okay, and the keyword will also be include. And finally, let's also make a copy for the exclude. Okay, exclude. And the keywords will also be exclude. All right. Okay. Um, so now let's create our new chart. And in this case, let's bring our readers and also clarity. Okay. And let's bring those different values. So let's say first fixed. Let's use average price. Uh, next. Let's use include. Okay. Uh, let's also use average price. And finally, let's use exclude. Uh, let's also use the average price. Okay. So now let's compare all those together. So let's bring them to the um, dashboard. Okay. So this average price parameter, average price, not this one, average price per clarity. And finally, we have average price, you see, for uh, in different um, level of, of the expressions. Okay, so let's first, let's see the fixed. Okay, so the fixed means that we are calculating price per reader with ignoring the any other dimensions we brought into this um, view so that's why that for all those clarities the average price per reader is always the same okay so that is fixed and now if you look at exclude so for the exclude we we mean that for the current view so we will calculate based on the combination of the views, but we will now, we will ignore the reader. Okay, so that is to say that we are calculating the average price per clarity. Even reader will is also within this view. Okay, so that's why that you can see for IF, the price is same for all the readers. Okay. The IF, the price is same for all the readers, and that is same for the original price. Uh, now, if it's include, so include means that, okay, so for the current views, we calculate at rate level, and in addition to all the views that we brought into this view. So that is means that when we use include, we are calculate average price per reader per clarity. Okay, so that is per reader per clarity. Okay, so you may want to spend more time and you may want to try it on your own side so that the, the level of the details will make sense to you.